Baltimore managed to bring it back 13 to 6, and it felt like Paper X were all out of sorts because Carmine Core just put them in their place. Now we get ready for a map three, and we'll see what both of these teams up to will bring out is this is it. Do or die now, right? It's now BO1. No, nothing. You got to forget about game one. You got to forget about game two. It's all about what's ahead. Of course, Golden Boy here with Mimi and Kukuka. And I mean, just this game has just been like so topsy turvy, it feels like. But for Carmine Core, they looked overall damn good on Lotus. Definitely a recovery from what happened on the first match. Again, on the first map, sorry. Uh, again, we see the KC that is very good understanding what is necessary in the map and also more specifically, understanding of how to break this composition that has so many holes. You're playing on a map that, that has three sides with no Sentinel. You don't even have a Viper, right? You're playing that double duelist with double controller, yeah. but it's Omen and Astra. There was there was a lot of things that were lacking on that defensive side. The Paper Rex could only uh, surpassed by doing one thing and is being yeah. aggressive. Yeah, I feel like that fundamentally a lot of the issues of Paper X come back to this composition. And in particular, I think that Carmen Car called a really excellent defensive side around it. They were playing these really passive style, letting Paper X get onto these sites, knowing that they only have that sky you, so they have nothing to stall you out once you're into the site. And yep. setting up and playing these beautiful set retakes. And most of the time, honestly, Paper X, they, they don't, they're not the most disciplined team. They're gonna be fighting forward, they're gonna be taking risks into you, and Carmen Core was capitalized off in that, capitalizing off of that, and then fighting back in and winning these runs. Even the last two of the half, throwing in some forward aggression to spice things up. I thought this was a beautiful set oh, of I love calls this from moment. Magnum. And I mean, yeah, just look at it. When you have this comp, you just don't have the util to fight back through oh. against these really aggressive retakes. And I mean, the poor guy didn't even know he had no bullets there. I think that's also the heat of the moment, right? He's pushing with the operator. He's pushing with his ultimate. He gets the kill and he's like, okay, uh, I, I have my shorty. Let me get a kill with this. Uh, Shoot some to the other gun and it's not until the smoke is, is there. To me, for, for me, I got pulled into the allure of Paper X. Okay. Last two Again, maps, okay. we've watched right, them. Last night on Split, this first map as well. Here These we go. guys are so good. They can run around. They can play any comp. They can kill anyone. They're the best team in the world. And then you remember that they play double duelist, no Sentinel, no Viper on Lotus, and they're playing one of the best Lotus teams in the world. Yep. And it kind of brings you back down to Earth a little bit, right? Because for yep. all of the you get shot, you die, sometimes <laughs> you get out called and you pick a comp that is outclassed by your opponent. I would love to ask them what made them make this last moment yeah. change, right? The, 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 the going and swapping things around a little bit on this map I mean, and actually you taking it this direction, out of all the directions that it could have gone, yeah. why this one? Yeah, well, I mean, it seems like the direction that they were going in were straight into the ascent to the gun to the bullets of narrate <laughs> honestly directly into ascent. uh and and directly to ascent but let's talk about narrate young man is going up on that stage right now and really lighting it up he's currently top fragging in the server across both games right at this current time and that is what is expected out of this star player this guy's been so good remember the, the na tier two star showing up to amia winning there and <laughs> honestly he's been so good at the international as well in map one playing the raise following up off of his teammates your and and here as well, I mean, just ruining Alex's day yes. with uh, some of these clutches. I am loving this montage because it's just narrated playing with such an important uh, and key part. The information definite uh, their opponents and Alex just losing at every single round. There were some rounds that Paper Wicks were winning and Alex was just not happy with it. It was like, no, this was not the way. This was not what I thought. But definitely something that we need to keep in mind is that, okay, that happened, it is over. It is surprising that it has been this one-sided and and, and and I would say both maps have been this one-sided and yeah. still the scores do not uh, resemble it as good. But then in Ascent, I feel that we also have bigger questions for both of these teams, right? Because Casey only played it once during the kickoff and it was a very funky composition, very much in the Paper Rex style. Yes. That doesn't really suit them, right? So the question is, moving into this third map, what composition are we going to see? Let's see it. Do they continue with the crazy comp we saw, or do they go to normalcy? No, something different. They're playing no the triple no. initiator comp. We've seen this in the past. DRX ran this comp. In Tier 2 NA, M80 nearly won Ascension playing this comp. It is a very strong composition, built yeah. off these util combos, and if you're a team not expecting it, it's honestly really hard to play against. Very aggressive, extremity reclears on defense, and very, very strong retakes. Yeah, exactly. Look at it. The Omen, the Breach, 
much the chaos, so much utility. Even Tomasi, right? Everything to help Martin in yep. this situation. Now, Raid, we know what he can do in all of this initiators, but for, for, for me, this map for them is a new frontier. As I'm saying, no Sentinel for either of these teams. Yes, Paper X has that Viper. Well, it's been a comeback already for Common Core on this second map. The squad who impressed everyone in EMEA has made it this far. Now they're in an elimination game. It's either them or Paper X for that last spot in the final, in the playoffs. Darn right, Mimi. It's do or die. Let's see how the chips fall here and who's going to be sent home. Let's send it back over to Hypoc and Pansy for the call. Yeah, the final map of the series uh, coming up between these two. Only one can carry on forward, of course, it being the final entire map and it match itself, which feels ridiculous that we could be losing one of these two. Such high hopes for Carmine Core coming into this and Paper X almost just a legacy team. Yeah, the, se one. the seasoned veterans really of this matchup here. And Carmine Core definitely looking for their first big international scalp to really claim. And what an accolade it will be. Oh yeah. To come out on top in an elimination game. Rex starting off slow here, the Prowler will identify presence here. Again, really eyes on Magnum to be that, that mid-round swing for KC in this composition. Oh, yeah, the that line, perfect. Spike but still, deep. they they get damage done, to be fair, but it feels like they were able to at least keep some alive. That looked almost like a death wish going through. Sight looking at least able to have a plant towards it, but the pot flash through the smoke that was so good. Ended. Lovely work from Narate there. There's just one left alive. Paint shell could be good, actually. Going to leave him scrambling. Yeah, there's there's opportunity. But the one player who's not affected is really Shin. All eyes. Oh, perfect. Come on, you've got to get a bomb. Show me something. Oh, I believe for a moment there with the HP being lower, a chance beckoned. Wasn't to be Carmine Core. Gonna get the first here. The problem is with this composition, KC have so many opportunities to re-engage, to catch your timing, catch Paper X off guard. In round one, definitely already an indication of that. Paper X gotta have their wits about them. Like you said, in that chaos, they would get a trade back, but so there's just a ton of utility to work with here. Might be a little bit of an exchange here towards A main. It's all retrieved here. Monnier. He's back on the raise again and, and questions about just how turbulent some of these comp composition changes are. It's, it must be brutal as a player to be kind of, you know, almost getting whiplash from this sort of back and forth role wise. But again, um, Monnier map one was exceptional. Really yeah. highlight credit to his uh, capability, but map two, I mean, wasn't exactly the headline star, but they've actually got themselves a sight here. Look where Monnier's got himself into as well. Tucked into where market. Still waiting. It's Mazzy. The timing on the reveal here. Gonna have his hands full. Gotta be careful. careful. Yeah. Did he hear anything as he considered it? Yeah, I think he's very aware. No naughtiness here. Spike planted. Now all of the Paper X players are going to be locked on that site. Here. Any kit? One paranoia. Night off. Night. No uncertainty Night. about that. Forsaken falls. This is just going to get very difficult. They can't really springboard off the back of that One utility either. Night. Yeah. Just outgunned, overwhelmed. Five alive and a defuse on the board. And tough for Monnier really gets himself into a, a very dangerous position here, but you know, weaponry and well played by Tomazzi to back up, concede once again, which has been the approach time and time again for Carmine Court. Allow this Paper X play style to really fizzle out. Looking clinical on the retake. I'll throw some weapons in the mix now. Rifles for Paper X. See what they can get done. And productivity potentially here from KC. Confirmation on the other side now. Martin. Oh. 
Tomazi unchecked, though. To consider it? Sure, no, right? I, I feel like they're not going to continue on that pathing, but... A little bit of a glance there from Martin. Not going to see anything, so it kind of frees him up in position, right? Store comes in towards short. Shin going to hear enough that he notes there's more than one player here. Prowl is not finding some of the players in the corner, but it doesn't matter. Top middle is the end goal, and Martin's waiting. They actually outdo him there. A nice opportunity, but it closes, and Shin just going to try and play forward. Paranoia landed. But so oh, still nearly wins yeah, it. Yeah, thought he had that one. Not the case. Paper X. Five standing, couple of them lower, but it's going to be Tomasi the first to draw blood. Something on the trade out, and now Narate sweeps his way through middle. It's a two of two and three Magnum. If he can win out here, but traded by Forsaken. Now Narate finds himself in a 1v2. Forsaken tagged up something, a 72 HP as well. Narate's been good. He's been very good, and Forsaken has to respect Look at that. Look respect being shown, yeah. No, no one's on stairs or close by. Considers main now, considers lane. He's going through all of those options. Just a flash to try and get him on the cross there, but Forsaken, I think, was unaffected by it. So it just sits fine, plays patient. And you're right, there's respect being shown there and knowing who you're up against. Only two rifles maintained through this. But Monye, great progress towards the showstopper here. And KC in a position, really, with, uh, I, I guess, some of this utility invested towards short. They know it's a fake. KC know that this is the plan all along. Our team there. looking to potentially get a little aggressive towards mid. Tomas. Time to run. And he's quite alone here. Oh, the backup! Perfect timing from Martin, holding them at the door. This is nice from him. Starting to heat up throughout this series, trying to find his footing. These international events looking much better now. Tomasi gets to play back in once that pressure got taken away. Three in this round. Once a fourth, gets a fourth. Flawless for Carmine Core in map three. Said so Magnum, really the power player in this composition. Going to apply so much supportive utility to both sides in this position towards Fountain, towards Spawn. And another example already. Martin just really coming into his own now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Almost fell off the stage. Don't worry. <laughs> so many 4K moments. I oh, know, this game's been fine. Who was it that fell off at EMEA? Was it Magnum that fell off his chair? It was actually, wasn't it? Yeah. Probably would be, I feel. Yes. Is that Kakuka confirming? That was, that was Bayer shouting yes. That's what the analyst desk is there for. <laughs> that sort of information coming in hot. Appreciate you. I was trying to read that sign, didn't make it in time. Um, but it, there has been a timeout. Paper X feeling as though uh, they don't have a grip on this one. And I've got to say, in my mind, I, I, a recurring I trend, honestly, of yes. early timeouts. Yes. They're, they're almost hitting the panic button, not letting one wanting things to spiral out of control. But, but also, in my mind, this wasn't a map that I'd really seen Carmine Core lean on throughout regular season. No, I mean, EMEA, what was it? It was a, a hard fought overtime versus fi Vitality with a yeah. different composition, yes. So it's definitely not something you look at as, 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 as a comfort pick, but potentially if this is the composition that. I mean, it has a lot of potential. Yeah. A nasty little comp. Seeing the breach toyed with elsewhere. Right there. I mean, four rounds of pass, right Magnum at six assists. You can already see some of these situations, just how much value that pick can have. I want to see if they start getting a little bit more creative here. Got to be careful in this sort of round, though. Narate's really sticking to this fight. Didn't want to back away, but has to be cautious. The sheriffs are out, and that rifle would have been a prized possession to bring into the clutches, but slow work in middle, and a pop flash to follow. That's what I like to see, just that tempered aggression every now and then thrown in. A dash of it. Controls mid and Narate feeling this, confident now, willing to fight and willing to win. Two big picks, even Mind Freak and Forsaken. Not really in a position to make much of this. Losing one in mid and two by aim main doesn't give you a great deal of forward play here. And Magnum one enemy got it too. It was Shin in the end to actually claim it. He's yeah, all assists. Mind Freak, a 1v5 with a Bulldog. Looking like it might be another flawless, and it is. Speaking of recurring trends, yeah. flawless so far by KC. 
Scared. Barring that one blip in round three. Feeling very, very comfortable for them. Ultimate's coming online now for Paper X. We'll say Kimonye and something. Divide one off the TP as well, but... I mean, on the other side, I think Carmine as well. Blade Storm, the Null Command, something to really shut down. A fast execute. We'll see Monier's showstopper a concern in that regard as well. If Nray is in range. And willingness to challenge it. Martin, unafraid. Take a little bit of a fight. He does have, of course, Magnum there with him, but it's not just one side of the map, it's both. This is dangerous. And now, monier has got to know there's something over here. What the hell was that? The paranoia is going to go. Was one of the players ahead of it? I'm waiting to see. Oh my god! No! Come on, Finn! What is going on? Monier flies through the air, finds all three of them, and the sight's theirs! I can't believe it! This guy is just unreal. What a round from him! A flawless in response. The no command actually gets popped there. I'm not sure of the exact timing. The showstopper went off, right? Did he get an extra boost in midair from the showstopper being shot down? Maybe. Uh, show me this again. He did, yeah. He got an extra boost off it. That is wild. That. Almost like a second satchel. Yeah. Let <laughs> That laugh is terrifying. That scared me to my core. What a way to nullify that confidence, put him back. Potentially a good position to work forward. Ooh, Martin just got caught at the end of that. That's going to remove his ability to find impact and maybe paint a little picture of the adjustment he was going for on short. Something will be rewarded here. And these re-clearances through our main started around 30 seconds in here. Like you said KC happy to post up for these fires, Tom, has he? Lucky to get away. Something creeping closer and closer. Paper X almost attempted to take both sides here. Magnum will finally fall. Oh yeah! Monster on the loose! Some more space cleared through here for Paper X. The information garnered on the back of that as well. Something falls away. They've opened up a bit of space here. 3v3. Mind Freak needs to fill that void, and he does it well. What can these players do, though? Shin down low. Last takes it. Okay, that probably wasn't the plan, but Tomasi just going to follow suit. Falls, and Paper X keeping three alive. And just springboarding off the back of that flawless round. They've beautifully done an opportunity to fight their way back in. I think maybe Shin thinking that... Tomazzi had cut aud enough audio that he could get away with such a TP. Oh, that's where the first comes on to Magnum. I want to see that jumping shot. Yeah, that's lovely. Came straight out of 2021, that peak. <laughs> Wrong agent. But uh, something still making it work. What is it? Carmine Corp pumping the brakes right back in. Eng. Feeling it's time to slow things down a little, have a chat, check back in. And again, if you watch the regular season so far, at least kickoff, you would know that if there's a call coming that he didn't like from Magnum potentially, or they made a choice before, they didn't quite like the direction they were leaning in, he'd happily try and chime in and offer his opinion instead. And Eng is one of those respected, but it does seem as though it's mostly the players having a chat. Eng's very quiet in this. Yeah, mostly coming out from Magnum Yeah, then. Magnum leading the discussion. Mm. And awareness shown here from Paperworks, the way something's creeping up mid here to try and isolate Magnum all the way in spawn. You see they're trying to rectify the issue. I guess negate some of that mid-round power that they have with this composition. Well, you noted those six assists earlier, he hasn't had one since. Yeah. So he's losing a little bit of that efficiency in these rounds in comparison to the start where he was felt almost omnipresent, right? Like everywhere when he was finding value. So interesting to see that dynamic shift there. He approaches for paper again. Spike not committed, so makes me feel as if it's going to be a slow approach here. Try and put this operator into the mix. Oh, well, I was to say that. Mm. Monier's all the way up short now. 
Boombot will go in, but won't spot Narate, but a wide swing will. Narate caught completely off guard by this aggression. And Tomasi, I just invested that, so you're going to be off with the timing a little, maybe feeling a false sense of security as Paperworks are just around that corner. Something clearing right as he goes. Worried about CT, but it's Tomasi close by. That Prowler is uh, very indicative of presence. He knows they're on the way. Bailout. Martin going to find the mood presence. Monier falls. Tomasi didn't get that timing right. Devai already over towards lane, and the site will be waving. Paper X's banner as the plant's going to come in uncontested here. Bike Still got somebody disconnected as well. A couple more players, something. The operator posting up here. He went down. It's Martin to find another pick. Yeah, this guy's on it. Gonna lean on in, he needs help. Oh, I thought he had that. I thought he might have had it. Forsaken started hit up though in a 1v1. Forsaken up against Magnum. Forsaken's read him. He's ahead of it. Oh, he's just done him in. Forsaken gonna bring that scoreline right back up. Carmine Core thought they had maybe this wrap, this map on wrap, but it's absolutely not the case. Three in a row now. Hard to handle the aggression from Monier coming out. The rest of the team starting to heat up. We're seeing PaperX find their footing. A couple of crucial kills from Martin here. Winning out on that Operator 1v1. So it's completely caught off guard by Mind Freak's position, I believe. Nonetheless, KC doing everything right on the way back into that retake. And it's no difference. Rinse, repeat. This time, Martin reads. Starting to calibrate what's going on in these rounds. Starting to assess what they're up against. But it's not just one attempt, it's two, potentially three more presents on short. Martin, has he got more? Not this time. Shin now left wondering, do I swing it, do I wait? But the Prowler goes past, but Devai still checks. S just such good heads up work. Narei can only do so much. And even against numbers, Mike, they break through on short again. I don't know if something thinks he picked up the spike here, but... He hasn't. Well, no, good. the TP comes through regardless. Mind Freak to find the killing blow. And Paper X, their fifth. You see, putting Martin into that position to try and take this engagement. He's trying to counterbalance that early round aggression, but... Paper X able to follow through. Curious what sort of adjustment we'll see from KC, whether or not they start following through with some of this utility at the start of the round, denying some of this space, because KC have been uh, relying on uh, some sort of indicator. Relying on Paper X to show presence first and trying to play very reactive based on Magnum's utility. Looks good, yeah, Monet just sweeps past Narate, the side's theirs. Lots more present on towards short, though that could prove a problem on the cross with the spike potentially, but yeah, door's gonna be shut, so there's gonna be that safety net put into place. Plant's now down, and already in a 5v4, this is difficult to play back into. Oh, what, Martin's found an open, oh! no, he's found a second. Devi will fall, yeah, numbers advantage now. Absorbing all issues from the. What are you up to? Something! What do you think you're doing? And Shin is there! Converting on towards Mind Freak. Where is this final player? Forsaken! They flood him! Carmine Core should never have had that round! It looked wrapped, but Martin with a sheriff. Thrifty. Picks apart Paper X. Converts a Mastercard Thrifty. And ties things up five apiece. And it felt almost frenzied from something to jump back into that. I mean, he was back on another one of those jump peaks. <laughs> yeah, Mind Freak in a position that's not considered, but strength in numbers here for KC on the back of Martin's heroics. And Martin was one of the missing pieces of the KC puzzle in some of their weaker games. If he had an off game, it wasn't quite feeling the same, but he's starting to spark a little here. But again, that was around in a drought. Shin's got to evacuate. Early utility going to force that open engagement. And Martin waiting. This guy's been on it. Does he get another chance here? He can't stick around too long. Does have to finally relinquish. And, wow, that was an attempt from Monier, but there's too much presence there. 
Hang on, the pin comes through onto Shin. A ton of reveals going through, but it's actually Nerade to find the spam. The Null Command's popped as well. This, this is just Fight's such not down a yet. bloody battle. Both That's sides ch just taking chunks out of each other. It's only Mind Freak left alive, and you're right. There was no plan. He doesn't even have the time on his side. He's looking for a fair fight, and he's not going to get too many of them. That opportunity probably just slipping away with Magnum now getting support, and Martin just puts the cherry on the cake. AC back in the lead Last now. Round before the switch. As well, Mind Freak's got the pit there. Nobody from Paper X able to get the plant down, and obviously once that pit comes through, it's that blanket of security. KC able to get ahead of the curve here. Again, the doors removed so quickly that that oh, was it. Three players huddled onto switch here. Let's go. Keep the energy up. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Nice shit. Nice stuff. Clawed their way back in here, and a chance to actually flip this on his head, get themselves a 7-5 half. Weaponry available for Paper X. Do have the pit as mentioned, but no other tools. What a close affair, but Martin could get his opportunity to shine again. Playing towards middle here. Here. I think, he, yeah, noting presence. There is late pressure towards A main potentially as well. This is hard to read, hard to gamble on. Does Martin get his play in? Doesn't look like it just yet. It might be Tomasi. Again, how do you read this? You've noted a lot now towards that B side of the map. Sorry, Tomasi committed towards this anchor once again on B. Happy to throw him up for the slaughter and uh, timing this time. Not sure if the rotation will come through. Still KC. Sticking to a three-man hold on a site. Oh. I mean, Tomasi just needs to... Uh, one and done really is enough for him yeah. in this situation. He can get the help from the TP, right? That's not too surprising. 30 seconds left. But can he get any help on the cross? The they're they're backing. Through. They're, they're, look at the spike. Look where the spike's going. Not a lot of time for this. No, I mean, this... they have players on site, so they know that the plant's not coming on B. If somebody can get what? across to a site and deny... They're going they come short. Off on short. Yeah, Magnum, this is it. That's stall. That this is could huge. be everything. Magnum, that's everything they needed. What a moment for Magnum. Carmine Core keeping this in their favor. Absolutely ridiculous. And because nothing else has really gone on in this round, Magnum has everything to close the door on short. Paperx getting lost in the clock here. I thought KC were potentially going to be behind this. But it's absolutely beautiful. That's dreamy for Magnum there, isn't it? So they keep the lead on the half. Seven to five. It's a close affair. It's what we wanted for map three between these two. We'll be back in just a second. Hello guys, I am Aaron, known as my freaking game, and I play for Team Paperx. Yeah, so basically, I think Moya took it personally, or maybe like this is the first time he get like talk in front of his face, that kind of stuff. Maybe like he took it personally, so basically every time he won a round in split on the third map, and he's like screaming or whatever stuff, I say like calm down, calm down, calm down, you know, because like the match haven't ended yet, so yeah. I mean, it's part of the game. I mean, he tried his best to take us down, but personally, I don't really bother at all because I, I was just like smiling at him. Wrap around players, plenty of them ready for the targets here. Heads could pop and heads could come clean off. Still watching and damage low enough. One shot in the chamber, Monier sends it. The bottom line was we we're just not informed like last year. We had this conversation like yesterday or two days ago. That's why our split today was a little bit better because we changed the comp for second player race. Monyet said that he doesn't comfortable playing race in split. So yeah, I think we definitely improved like a bit because now I think everyone playing their comfortable role. And I feel like it's a good match because maybe people trying to underestimate us, but in the end of the day, we take the W. This is the final map I was hoping for, Mike. I want a game from both of these where we see the best of their capability, seeing Carmine Core picking up afterwards. A little bit of an issue there, tipping the scales right back in their hands, but Paperx still feisty, still fired up. This 
is an elimination game. Only one of these two teams will carry on forward. So everything has to come out in this half. This is the final half of play, unless we get OT. So how KC looked to apply his composition in the second half here. Martin is revealed here. Well, maybe a little bit of a miscommunication. I don't think anybody else was spotted. Only him marked. So we're going to force a rotation early on. We'll draw out a smoke on A-Main. So just Monnier looking to shoulder that. <laughs> a bit of a, a standoff here. Mm -hmm. It's a 60 second marker approaches. KC will drift towards what looks like a B site execute here for the pistol. Flashback. High flash for the front part of site. C's did come in, didn't connect. And the right then going to try and reveal who's towards the back of the side itself. And he's going to get one, so they don't quite know about who is it. It's Forsaken. Yeah, that's a surprise. They didn't get the information on great trade for Narate. But Mind Freak now takes that time to play out. Really playing with the push and pull of the round. And the cross now isn't safe. The support's here. Martin trying to clear back in, spike back in hand. But for 25 seconds, where are you going to go? I mean, this is exactly the same amount of time that was left on the clock for Paper X to make the same rotation in the last round of the first half. Martin tagged up down to 51, Shin at 74, but they might just get the plant ahead of Mind Freak here. 10 seconds left. Yeah, they're going to get the plant down. Mind Freak close, but not close enough. 40 HP. Planted. But he's here. And he's going to spot he's one. Spotted. And now has to peel away for a second. I think right choice to wait for something to get close enough by to maybe you know, work on some of the picks they get potentially. I think that door got shut. What do they do about it now? Spamming out towards CT. You can hear the door going down. Shin turns his attention, spots him. Sharp, clean work. Carmine Corp starting off the second half here with a bang. Yeah, enough damage done to make something and Mind Freak's chances of closing this out. I guess flipping this back in their favor. A little too difficult. Come on, Corp, very cautious of Paper X starting off the second half explosively. One enemy remaining. Always got to be the consideration for them. Mm -hmm. To win this one out in the end. I'm going to switch up here just to Mazzy. Look towards B. Information gathered towards mid and outside B main, but nothing confirmed just yet. Door of A site wide open, though. Just divide over towards short. We tuck behind the smoke now. They've pretty much cleared everything else, so they should be pretty heads up that short was the only pressure point. But a late plant has allowed for rotation to come in. They've got it down now. Paper X make anything of this. The two sheriffs I'm keeping my eyes on with Mind Freak and Divide. They're going to get themselves into that smoke. They've at least crossed that first threshold and attack the spike reveals a position. No chance to really close down on the two players in hell. So Divide, the only one to draw blood. Mind Freak now. Last one to try and pull something across the line, but not Gets getting much out. play. Yeah, this is looking done for. Yeah, Let's go. Carmine Corp. Convert the second. Into the third Passes round as well. Down. Decent inventory. A couple of rifles on the board. Martin going to be the one to lead the charge here. Three away from the blade storm as well. So good early progress. Paper X need to answer back. Need an early response from them. Casey already knocking on the door of double digits. Looks like it might be exactly the same setup here. Flashbang. Cover going out. Now, do Paper X look to explore outside B main? I mean, with the Odin, you'd imagine not in the hands of Forsaken. A three-man stack towards A site behind this Viper wall. But the Mind Freak suppressed, actually. Uh, Martin looking to close the gap as well. Well, oh, that's a little uncomfortable there. Yeah, just about kind of evading detection on the other side of it. But Monnier going to be feeling that scrutiny on the side, though. Playing behind Dice, he's got to be careful that they couldn't creep up towards Jen, but... Look at this, though. Casey getting very aggressive towards short here. 
the other side, though. That flash looking very good there. There's the retake towards Short. Monye turns attention and keeps his life. Mind Freak keeping him safe. And Paper is really dealing with that very unorthodox pressure very yeah. well. Yeah, felt very comfortable for Paper X to, to back up here. Okay, see, uh, making the right noises, getting aggressive towards Short, pushing all the way through Tree, but unable to convert that. I think it's a crucial kill here from Monya. Oh, yeah, Shin TP in the open. Sure, he thought he was going to get across the wine there, but. Nice, boys. Let's go, boys. We are back. Why back? Why back? Why back? Little bit of a slip up. It's a good opportunity, though. And if you pay for it, you'll take it with both hands. A lot of the earlier round, got to say, Carmine could have been having their way, really, though. There hasn't been much play back in now. Starting to see maybe at least a test towards A main, but that's it. And just jump spotting towards middle. Could be something. It does look like a 3-2 split again towards this A site. Difference being you've got divide towards wine. You're gonna have a little bit of an adjusted setup here, but the close down gonna try and come in. Martin gets dealt with. Quelled and slowed down, and Monier not really backing away either. Still keeping them both in their place. And Mind Freak just demolishing them on short. The, the sports here. They're down to two and they know where both of them are. The Magnum and Shin left to try and recover this now. Ton of damage done. Still four standing for Paper X. And Magnum's going to try and find something elsewhere on the map, but. He actually might just oh, find He might just find something, yeah. He's already made his way across towards B. Shin spotted here with a jump peek as well. Paper X looking very, very well coordinated here in the second half, Lauren. Yeah. Bye bye. Remaining. He found him. Spike down. Oh, and the way he wants it, I'm sure. But Shin now forced to save. There's no good outcome for him in that scenario. But yeah, this is looking different now. Paper X starting to get a, a little bit more of a read, it feels like. A little bit more comfort here. So his first couple of rounds, it was rather uncomfortable viewing. Paper X closing the gap here. Shin. Ten seconds left. Shadows traveling. Keeping the rifle in hand. Five more seconds. He'll get out with what well, he came in with seven. Oh dear. Oh dear, don't go that side. Something's there, something's there. Shin keeps it. But that was getting a little scary as well. Yeah. Nine to seven, Mike. We've had two now consecutive rounds. That has forced Carmine Core into a timeout. I think Paper X will have the upper hand in terms of these first ultimates coming online as well. But another example of a very comfortable hold on A side here, particularly towards short where. The focal point seems to be for Carmine Court. There's Monier on the other side of this as well to counterbalance that. Shutting down A main. Happy to stand his ground and Against fight. Two. Yeah. I, it, they just can't dislodge him. No. <laughs> and the way he was able to offset the timing with that was just fantastic. Allowed yeah. them all to clear back through short, give them that full focus once they swept back through. It's it's what you'd be after. Now this time you can see Aang being far more involved. Last yes. round it was yes. Magnum being far more vocal. This time, Eng is getting involved here, which, again, if you're if you're maybe not watching EMEA, original coach of Gambit, you know, he's coming with a big, yeah. big CV here. He's, you know, got some big names behind him, very highly uh, you know, revered in his job. So it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with as the next question mark for, you know, Carmine Gore to try and work on. It's like maybe a strategic adjustment here instead for Zeng to take charge of the timeout. Played Storm burnt up, not necessarily a massive issue. Fun still there to support some weaponry for Carmine Court. On the other side, there's actually Monye and Mind Free building up towards their ultimate. Something to, like I said, the advantage in that regard. Right there. And switch up this time. You're going to see, I, I mean, maybe not particularly switch up. Something there. does generally play towards middle, but at the very start, still trying to support Forsaken here. Cut. Early utility, that's a problem. Martin just about gets in front of it and tries to keep his head down, Somehow. not to be connected on. And that's a lot of information, and that's, again, no damage. What? He just slingshot over it. This is ridiculous. Something's still alive, but he's nervous, and you know why? He's just seen a whole lot of players coming towards his site. Has his ult, has Monier, and he's just popped his ult as well. Spikes down on lane. Oh, God, that's a problem. Devai's going to at least isolate that final man from Massey. They have no idea where he is. Hello? Enemy Hello? Turn around! Tomasi doesn't need to overcook this. He gets out of the way of the paint shell. And now a fair 1v1. He's got his reveal back as well. This is everything. You can see 
Monier tries to evade it, tries to keep undetected. Tomasi so close to the corner, oh. Monier's got him. Paper X take another step closer. Right down to the wire though. Tomasi slipping the net. And it's perfect timing here. Uh, Monier, two ridiculous kills to stop this pressure flooding all the way down lane towards site, bailing something out. Vaporex bring it within one now. Carmichael back on a purchase. And with that investment in the previous, you got to say the advantage now lies with them in terms of the ultimates. Something on an operator. Noted very early on in the round. Tomazzi commanding a lot of this space over towards B. I guess with the operator showing his hand early on, they feel like maybe something's rotated elsewhere. KC will stack up outside B's site. We'll show it to the Prowler. Well, the C's actually landed Great. there. Yeah. yeah, that's really lucky timing to slow this down. And the follow-up, especially on the rate of all players, oh, is so fortunate. Something going to smoke or get smoked off on the cross. And look at the dive there, Forsaken! The immovable object! Something dips his toes in, catches Magnum. But now there's Counter-Strike back. They start flooding back, winning these fights. Hey, Brex, that flash, they've got to try and make the most of it. That was so good to Massey. Invest in the ult with the flank. Look at Monye getting a step or two closer, but the eyes have turned to Massey. The penny dropped, the plant's in, but does he consider it? There's the strike. Oh, it's exceptional from Tomasi. And something will be surely forced to save here. Well, surely. He's, he's going back in for this. Feeling confident, down to 500 credits, not an awful lot left in the bank. Not revealed up. But gonna try and find the kill onto Tomazzi. No, thinks better of it now. What a ridiculous Ooh. opener from Forsaken though. And even with all of that success, still KC. Steady the ship. And find themselves double digits here on map three. I've got to see that again from Forsaken's oh, POV. Yeah. I, I want to see the whole round again. Just, it, it felt As so... the Seas lands it, it completely takes the punch out of this execution. He then shuts down Narate. Who had his ult, yeah. by the way, going at that point. Here we go. Oh, counter ult comes out, and he read it. He was so ready for it. So ready. That's wild! It's one of those random shorty purchases that you're just like, wow. Maybe. Oh, Tomasi had a round two. Yeah. That kind of pressure he brought over towards market, taking that space away, making them so uncomfortable for the retake. So valuable there. That, that's, that's unlocked 10 on the board for Casey. Double digits is huge. Paper X got to start firing up here. This is tournament life. This is everything. And that's what they needed. Monye gives them two. Backs away. That's Martin. That's Narek gone again. That's with a stinger. Again, yeah, they we, get the sight, but... We talked about him being completely unfazed previously. Tomasi, oh! though, turning this back on his head. Vengeance served, but still tipped again Vengeance. in the favor of Paper X with that kill from something coming out. Plant is ticking, though. Something's going to get a rifle as well. That's in play. Right there. They've got to start moving here. Magnum turns his attention. That could be an issue. That could be an opening. Forsaken didn't note it. Oh, Magnum, is this your moment to shine? Mind Freak only has a classic. Can he evade the stun? Mind Freak gets the upgrade, gets the rifle, and now they get this extended 1v1. One side now bite. locked off. It's not what he wanted there, but Magnum now feeling the pressure. He's closing him down. Ring a ring a Rosie. Magnum playing with it. Oh, it's perfect. Magnum. Getting Casey up to 11. Oh, leading in game by example here. Absolutely ice cold from Magnum. Played to perfection. Mind Freak, a little bit of a fumble on the snake bite, but nonetheless. And all of these rounds just seem to start with big wins for Paper X. Big wins. Forsaken in the last round, you had Monyet this round. How much more can they do? They, they've given you two at the very start. It's showing that depth yeah, of KC. Give me one. Let's go. They get him pumped up. They might have Paper X on the ropes here, but 
Let's find out. Still a good purchase to play with this time around for Paperx. They've got to make this count. The pressure is quick. Narate off to a good start, but there it is. Forsaken again Spike on the bailout. Here. He'll get you two if he can, but Martin answers back. Look at what remains now. Look at Mind Monier. Freak on beat. And you're right. Monier's up in spawn. What a switch around of positions. Okay, see, so slow things down now. They've equalized the head count. <sighs> Desperate to find another piece of information, another scrap sent out by Paper X. And they're waiting for Paper X to walk around the map. They're waiting for that re-aggress. Yep. Devai, I mean, he's not actively doing it. He's kind of repositioned towards B because they're putting a lot of faith in Monier's position. Obviously, short is open, but that's something you'll have to respond to. I think Tomazzi was just calling. Oh, Devai, Devai, Devai! One for one trade. There's still a player on B. No Again, way. No way no Magnum way they catches that. No Last way he catches top mid here. Yeah. Yeah, not a chance in hell, Monier. Mind freak. And another 2K going out from Forsaken. Gonna keep Paper X in touching distance. KC aren't out of the woods just yet. Look at that run of rounds. Three on the trot, the break back through from KC. And an instant correction. How's the money looking for Carmine Corp? Well, look too pretty. I mean, two away from the blade storm, so an opportunity potentially, but. <laughs> The tensions rising here on map three. Only SMGs to work with here for Carmine Court. If you Monier, definitely an opportunity for something, start. yeah. Shut down Martin off the rip. No chance of converting that Stinger into the Blade Storm this round now. Big opportunity for Paper X here. Get a clean round, keep the weapons up, start taking back that momentum. This is huge. Cross should be catched. Yeah, perfect. Dubai. Oh, and the adjust really nice. No threats this time. Narrate, you got one. But with 18 HP and a stinger and no upgrade close to touch, I think he knows this one is not going to be the round to make the impact in. <laughs> the ping's on the minimap already. I mean, nice. Something's going to hear it now. Lovely. Narrate looking for the round the world. To try and find a cheeky kill, maybe an upgrade elsewhere, but... But this is game back on, Mike. Yeah. This is 10. They've got ults coming online. They've got rifles coming out. They've got Carmine Core back just uh, not under the heel, but this close by. Oh. Paper X, I guess, off the start of this round. An advantage here in terms of the ultimates. Look at the right side of the scoreboard here. Yes, Carmine Core on the brink. This is such a key round. It looks like the pit might actually. Lockdown A main here. How do they course, respond? Yeah, cause Carmine Core to reconsider. At least reconsider at plan A in this round. You see something counterbalance this with the operator on short. But Monje just walked middle. What? That was... A really bold play to bring out there. Maybe he felt he had that support from short, but didn't get what he wanted, and that puts a problem towards B. Yeah, Forsaken's going to have his hands full here. He has been good for two. Something's got the cross. The cross. Don't, don't He's turn giving away. it up. Don't turn away. Go back to business. There it is. Finds Tomasi. That's got to be so revealing. Oh, my God. Oh, another one. Something. Perfect. Old now triggered. And he actually has face Magnum. That's massive! Forsaken! Tino! And knocks them down! down it's everything you would have wanted for them! And now Martin being hunted oh, down! How much resilience left. can one man have? Not enough! Something reading it well, checking back on that cross, and it all falling into place. I can't believe they've tied this up. 11 apiece now. In the 11th hour, they do it. And Carmine Core rocked in terms of the finances as well. Such fine margins here. Something giving up the cross, coming back to it. Catching Shin on the second peak. Forsaken delivering time and time again as this B-site anchor. Get out of back my down way. to SMGs, a blade storm to work with this time around. Paper X don't look like they're letting their foot off the gas at all in terms of aggression. A four-man probe outside A here to get the orb. 
but it is an adjustment, right? They're not playing actively on the site right now. They're leaving Mind Freak towards CT. That is the only adjustment we're seeing here. They're allowing this space, maybe having enough faith in this ult. And these players, oh, it's so oh, good. The, right. the timing on that, obscene. As soon as the right popped the ult as well. Every time he pops his ult, it's just oh, cursed, yeah. but Martin gonna get one back. Smokes off, maybe give them a chance on the res here too. This buys time and it's critical. And now, Paperx don't have that next springboard. How do they get to the site? This was with Stingers, Spectres, Sheriffs, and an ult. Where is that next layer? Here it is, here it comes. Martin gonna be noted, he is in danger. Can he somehow weather the storm? No, Forsaken puts him away. Now, four on the site, something on the clear. Mike Freak joins in, Paper X! Starting to sweep the site, down to Magnum, down to Shin. Mike Freak again, that's his side, but Shin can't do enough. Paper X! Gonna put themselves up to 12. This game is ridiculous. Almost giving KC a glimmer of what that 12th round would have looked like. They had a taken taste, it away. A taste, just a whiff of finding themselves on series point here, but it's Paper X to snatch away the hopes and dreams. What was that adjustment from something there? Oh, here we go. More Starting of that. to get fired up. More of that. But they're not done yet. There's a buy still here for Carmine Core. This is not done yet, but that's big information. Martin, though, a lifeline given for Carmine Core at the back of his start. That is everything they needed, but with this man still standing, there is no safety. He could still change around. Does he read it again, the adjustment? Not wanting to play from the catwalk itself, considering maybe they already thought about it, but it's his presence again. He is the one that gatekeeps this round. He needs to hold this angle. He needs to catch one, two. Is he ready for this? Are they ready for this? You can see Mind Freak moving closer as well. Starting to get curious. Oh, see just how close it is. Something gives it up The timing! Here. The timing! What? I thought he was going to... Mind Freak? Mind Freak not going to be able to do much more. Martin is absolutely activating here. And it's all on Forsaken. A 1v4. And Jort. This deserves OT. And Martin, the hero of the hour, the hero of Carmine Core, getting them up to 12. And of course, this game was going OT. Absolutely Overtime. fitting end to this map three in this series overall. Martin on the brink of 30 here, digging so deep. And KC just demonstrating such a solid understanding of how Paper X are playing in some of these mid rounds. A blank slate here. For round 25, operator in hand for something. <laughs> KC back on the defense now. What a great game. Absolute banger. <laughs> Man, you couldn't right ask there. us anything better than this. OT now. Something. Ooh, careful, Martin. Forced away. That gives something the angle. And are you shouldering that? Are you serious? Underestimating something when given that information is a critical error. And Magnum still positioned towards pizza, but Paper X very quickly disengaged. Spike not committed just yet, so. Paper X looking to just find these picks. Tomazzi lucky to escape with his life here. Actually gets a tag onto something. Oh. Down to 80 HP. Him, so it was going to be a stun coming through from Magnum there, but they pulled the rotation. Look at the minimap. KC stacking the chips towards B site. This is a great Justice adjustment. Now the knife does reveal the you know, the horrible reality of the scenario if you're a Carmine Core fan that, well, they're not coming B anymore. But they weren't quick on the uptake. They didn't overly dive into here, but the site will be theirs regardless. Do they go for almost the pre-take or do they wait? I think they're gonna have to now. Monier very close by here. He get himself propped up on Jen. Tomasi looking, maybe set something in motion here. 
So the seas through first. Actually doesn't catch, it doesn't even go over the wall. Now that could have been big too. The paranoia is going to go through, but it's something to find a rate. Swing on in Dubai. Stands and conquers Monnier, seals it. First in OT is Paper X's. Switching side. Match point. And a punch to the gut of KC. Who fought tooth and nail to take this all the way to overtime. <laughs> Something really starting to heat up now with this operator. He's a big game player. Undeniable value found by him. Ooh. Big timeout just came in. I just caught a glimpse of it. It's Carmine Core. We're in OT, so it kind of changes it. They're going to slow things down now. That's going to be, again, Eng, right back in here. Magnum, again, this is very hard. Once you get into OT, calling becomes not impossible, but it's one of the hardest things, I feel, because it goes out of the normal realms of reality. You're not playing a standard game anymore. So I think this is a good time to pump the brakes and try and check back in, calm the nerves a little. You've still yeah, got a very sure. young this team is, yeah, here. Exactly, yeah. And we said we talk about, obviously, KC's opportunity here to really claim one of the international titans of Valorant and a victory over them. Yes. Again, uncharted territory for this roster. Shin, the only real legacy really remaining from Carmichael, everybody else, newcomers other than Magnum to the international stage. Lots to consider here. Extremely tense as we enter round 26 here. Paperx drawing blood first in overtime. But back on the defense now. Same setup or yeah. similar once again from yeah. Carmine Court. Well, actually, the, does the combo catch? No, it doesn't. Actually, finally, Monnier punished in this position. It's been so difficult to dislodge him from there. Oh, he's been near on prolific at his damage. How many rounds? Two kills, three just impact. So a great adjustment and a really strong read. But there's bodies behind this, Mike. It's not just Monnier. They still have two other players, which I don't know if they're expecting that. But now, probably a lot of utility yeah. going to reveal who's present on this site. Again, the other switch up being forsaken over towards a site. Look at the amount of space that Mind Freak has. Yeah, huge. A ton of information. But... Defy and Forsaken almost committed towards a site hold here. There's no getting out for the retake. No, you've got to stand. You've got to try and hold that ground. Martin's in, but he didn't get what he wanted. Switching out to the shorty is Defy and Forsaken. Racking up bodies. They've held them back. They're on the verge. I can't believe it. Paper X keeping hope alive for themselves. Take it to OT. Beating Carmine Core. The European Reapers carry on. Heartbreak for KC. Some real positives to take away from here. And falling, so as we've already said, an international veteran like Paper X, the shining stars of EMEA. Yes. Gave it their all today. But what a fantastic series from start to finish. I said, should be very, very proud of their performance. I mean, Martin becoming oh. absolutely electric towards the end of this series. Yes. Narrate as well, potentially even, I mean, even bowing out here, potentially a top five overall statistically performance for him. Yes. Absolutely fantastic stuff. And bigger picture, Carmichael losing to Sentinels and Paper X is. Who's, yeah, who's going to turn the nose up for that? No, I, I give him credit where he's stupid. On the other side, of course, the victors today who somehow have been almost sparked back to life. Whatever heretics did have turned these boys back into gods, and it is terrifying. The resilience shown, the the, the sheer paper Xness that we saw on map three, <laughs> right? It was just like something that we I feel like I hadn't seen in a while. Some of that explosive potential, seeing just forsaken Monnier so, and, and seeing now Monnier joining the others towards that top end of the board is exceptional to yeah me. There's, there's there's still some real questions about the comfort within this roster oh, sure, sure. the composition I mean Alex saying yesterday in the pre-match 
uh, we need to figure something else out. Like W yeah. Gaming's in year three now. We need to figure something else out, but uh, still, they just look so good at it. They do, and I, 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 Joel, again, it's so hard being for, you know, the EMEA region. You're always rooting for Casey in a way, because it'd been great to see what they could do with such a young squad. But if anyone was going to put them home, I'm happy it was Paperx. What a fantastic run from them. Analyst desk, enjoy yourselves. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're supposed to like talk about the game, and then we're supposed to like break it down. I mean, I, I feel to... like all, all there is to say is that they've done it in the most paper rex way possible. <laughs> Going to map three, we're on an ascent game with with, with no Sova, with no Killjoy on either team. We we come uh, out here uh, and we see them popping off towards the end of the game. Something buys an up on Gecko in overtime. Bro, jumps he into mid swung and mid. There was no protection. He just went for it and then got a kill. And you're like, oh, just something, just doing something things. And that's the thing with this <sighs> team. They are they are inexplicable. They will yeah. pick a composition that makes no sense. They will make decisions that no one can fully explain, but they will win with it because they can seemingly make it work under any circumstances. And what a way, honestly, if Casey was going to go out in groups, there's no better way than this. Playing against a yeah. great team who pulls off some ridiculous stuff in OT. Yeah, I mean, you basically went to the wire there against uh, a squad that is no no shame in losing to. I mean, let's not forget, these are the runner-ups of the World Championship last year, for goodness sake. Only difference is, you know, they have a new player on the team. And if anything, I think that this just further confirmed for me that Monette belongs on this team, and he... Oh, that kid's got something special. He's got that dog in him for sure. He absolutely does. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and head down to the floor right now. We got Kakuka standing by with Monyet. Let's see what I'm he's going to say with Verizon post match. Let's give it up for Paper X one more time. Oh. Congratulations on making playoffs, on making that top four. Before we even begin with the interview, real quick, if it were up to you, Race, Omen, or Astra? Can I pick all of them? No, you have to choose one. I think I'll still say Omen, but... <clears throat> I'd say my race is picking up right now. It's the momentum. Yes, exactly. We love that. Lo primero que le quería preguntar es, de entre todos los agentes que ha jugado, sobre todo por cómo le vemos cómo se mueve, eh, ¿cuál prefería? Parece ser que se queda con los controladores, pero dice que ahora mismo su, su race está en ascenso, así que ya lo veremos. So, in two days, your team has defeated the two EMEA and sent them home, the two EMEA teams. What can we expect this time around from Paper Rex in playoffs? You'll never know what comma we're using. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> do you say you do you see yourself lifting the trophy? I cannot jinx it. I mean, we'll see. Okay. Like one by one, you know. Le he preguntado que qué es lo que podemos esperar de Paper Rex después de que mandaran a casa a los dos equipos de EMEA. Dicen que desde luego lo que nunca vamos a saber es qué composición van a elegir y que bueno que no quiere todavía eh, como endemoniar, ¿no? Si si van a sacar ese ese trofeo o no. Uh, my last question is going to be. Tell us about, now that you mentioned the, those composi compositions, tell us about that composition in Lotus. Help us understand, right? You make those changes from one day to another, right? Like now you go with the Astra. It's a Lotus comp with no Sentinel. So, you know, help us understand why you make these changes. I mean, it's just like we're trying to watch comfortable for us. So we decided to change it to Astra Omen mm -hmm. since for a second was playing well on race like yesterday. So we decided to do that after we came back from the venue. And that's it? Did, did you just double duo this double control and send it? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's good. I mean, we, sorry, we, we prepped something, but it's not like very big preparation, you know? Okay. Le he preguntado también por esa composición que han sacado en Lotus en la que deciden estar con el doble controlador, el doble duelista, pero ni centinelas ni nada de lo que solemos ver. Dicen que lo decidieron anoche, que por Forsaken tuvo un buen game con Reyes y que, ¿por qué no? Estas son las típicas decisiones que te llevan a lo más alto. Well, thank you very much. We'll see you in three days during playoffs. But we're not done. Todavía nos queda una cosa por hacer. We're going now to the draw, so to see who is going to be facing off against each other in three days. Hola a todos chicos, estamos aquí para ver quién va a jugar en los playoffs, para ver cuáles son los primeros equipos que vamos a ver dentro de dos días. Uh, Victoria, let's let's do this. All right, so this draw is very simple and straightforward. Um, this is for playoffs, so you have two teams that are two and zero, two teams that are two and one. The two and zero teams will be higher seeds. They will play one of the quote unquote lower seeds. It is a new stage of the tournament, so there are no rules. Any matchup is is good to go, and it's a double elim, so there are no separation rules. Um, I think that's it. So if you want to just kind of um, you can give me one of these, and then we'll we'll see what the first team for the first match is. Okay. 
Perfect. All right, so the first team for the first match is going to be Sentinels. Oh, Sentinels, let's see. And then the, well, by default, we'll do this. Okay. By default, the first team of the second match, so they don't play each other, but the first team in the other match is going to be Genji. Genji. Sentinels against Genji, dos de los equipos que se clasificaron eh, a los playoffs, los right. primeros. Yeah, there's two outcomes, so let's see who plays Sentinels. ¿Quién va a jugar contra Sentinels? Loud. Sentinels contra... <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, by default, we're going to have Gen G, Paper against Rex. Paper Rex, yes. Duelo de APAC, el Pacífico. Primero contra segundo. Bueno, estos son los equipos, chicos. Nos vemos dentro de dos días en los playoffs. Muchas gracias a todos por venir. Un abrazo muy fuerte y nos vemos. Thank you so much for that, guys. And <laughs> that was never it was not bound happen. to happen. There Matt. was no world like, where Sentinels and Lab didn't play each other first. I round. mean, at some, like, I, I was saying, I was like, you know, I'd be fine if it was like, you know, yeah, a little America's fight, a yeah. Pacific fight, America's fight, Pacific fight. No, instead so we're just gonna. It's just too fun. Let's, let's, let's run it back. It. Let's run it back. <laughs> let's run it back. Yeah. Let's run our regional finals back. Uh, oh my word. Firstly, Mike, good to have you here, pal. Uh, that was insane. From, from, a, from, a, <laughs> yeah. from a color commentator yeah. perspective, just so that we can give the viewers at home just a little bit of context, how how fun is it to commentate I mean, I, those I, games? I said this in the cast, that's why it's always <laughs> nice to hear that insight from Ang, where it's just like, yeah, we don't really know what they're going to do. And, and it's like that when you're does? watching it, you're like, who well, bro, what, what is going to happen next? Monette literally said to Kakuka, we didn't know what we were yeah. going to pick. Yeah. So it's like, how how can you know what your what you're gonna do with your opponent? Exactly, and and the number of times we've seen examples <laughs> of this on the international stage from Paperx, yeah. it just goes to show again you can't really take much away from KC. Like uh, they played an outstanding oh, yeah. series yeah. of Valorant today. They absolutely did. I, I mean, in particular, I was so impressed by that Lotus. Don't get me wrong, the Paper X comp. Yeah, there were well, other discussions. Not topic, the finest but... showing, but I, I did think their calling on that map was yeah. on point. We saw a lot of these players step up. Uh, the rookies, honestly, on this team, Martine and Nerite, both having exceptional yes. series here against Paper X and throughout this tournament. People will walk away from this and be like, oh, they got grouped. It's that one thing. But both matches, Sentinels, two or three rounds difference, they win that game. Yeah. This game against Paper X, same damn thing. Two or three it's overtime. Round uh, literally one round difference in OT. Yeah, that, that's it, all it would have been. It, it's a bit of a heartbreaker uh, for, for Carmine Corp, but it's not an indication of this team. They just happened to run it. They, they got introduced to the big leagues because they, yeah. they ended up meeting this paper I've seen first time, and you're just getting shenanigans. I, I mean, look at look at the run they've had to face here. They're yeah. off against Sentinels, who are looking in insane form, yep. Yep. and Paper X, who, like we said, were an international veteran. Yep. Like they've, they've come to events time and time again and put up these sort of explosive performances and, and tested some of the best in the world. Yeah. But man, does that set us up for a wild yeah, playoff. I mean, yeah. We're starting with the regional <laughs> the rematches, graphics. which is like, okay, it's a regional rematch. But after that, the, the games we can get here, I yeah. want to see Sentinels Paper X so, so bad. bad. Yeah. So bad. I want to see Loud Paper X also, because yeah. both those teams are going crazy with the compositions and stuff. It is, I, I feel like all these matchups are going to be really interesting. We have such unique styles throughout this one as well. We have Sentinels balance of like individual risk and like pre-cooked stuff and counter strategy. <laughs> you have Genji's fantastic fundamentals. You have inexplicable paper wrecks. And then you have Allowed, who, who are finally looking back in, you know, like championship form just as they get into playoffs. And the concern being if paper wrecks just start going down the rabbit hole before <laughs> playoffs. I mean, they've already started today, right? Yeah, yeah. They're happy to just bring out a composition, not really know what the hell's going it just on. It feels a lot like Copenhagen. It's got the Copenhagen kind vibes. of vibes. It's got yeah. Copenhagen vibes. Yeah. You, know you know what's wild, too? We're, we're having a tournament in EMEA, and both of the teams go home. And it, it's a tragedy for this crowd. But I, I'm also just so sad about it, because both of those matches, for Heretics and Carmen Court to be eliminated, both yeah. just a round away. I think this tournament is proof how close yes. every region is, how close every team is, that people were doubting Pacific coming in. Both their teams are in playoffs. People yeah. didn't know what Loud would look like. They've stepped up. They're in playoffs. People doubted Sentinels. They're in, like, 
everyone was here to play. I mean, Benji alluded to this, right? This year is going to be a very different landscape. There are some yes. new contenders here, and I think even right. losing both EMEA teams, uh, I think it's a real positive in terms of the performance, in terms of the demonstration, the level that they've shown here in Madrid, definitely a positive to take away. Oh, yeah. this In no way, shape, or form is this an indication because I, we were saying it leading up into this, this is one of the most competitive, wild tournaments that we've ever had. You it was said impossible it, to predict. It was impossible to predict. Everyone came here to play. This is the peak. This is like what Valorant, what Valorant Esports, what this sport is all about. And the it new is, era. It is freaking awesome to watch, man. I'm having a blast. Just like a little little, little guy just enjoying it on the side. It's amazing <laughs> stuff. But folks, we're going to get Mike out of here because he just casted a game that gave him a headache more than likely. Uh, same thing for <laughs> Mimi Tambien. Yeah. But uh, yeah. guys, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you all at home for sticking with us throughout the week. We hope you had a really good time checking out the Swiss stages and all that good stuff. Make sure you let everyone know what you felt about the event. Use that hashtag, uh, uh, Masters Madrid, as well as hashtag V. CT. But the good news is we'll be back here Thursday, and it's time for the playoffs, baby. This is going to go in, and I'm so excited. We'll see you then, folks. Take care and have a great week. It's the rubber band match between two teams that could very well go the distance. Two teams synonymous with their regions. EDG has been the number one Chinese representative and Loud was the one to stop them last year. They have a chance to do it again. It's, they've got to be extremely oh. careful. Tui's needs to time this just right. Over from 4v3, it might be down to this one. Very few defenders left standing. In fact, now just one. Smoggy's on all fours. Aodong tries to get back no, to the no, 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 no. <laughs> Be right up behind them. First kills free, and he'll close it. Loud come in with one of the most dominant performance we've seen in the tournament. They are one step away from making it to the top four. We've hit a reset point. We've gone into sunset. Man, am I worried about EDG. Combat, How Dong though wants to take down last force forward, and Dewey's was waiting. A quick double for him, a triple in fact. The spam almost eliminating How Dong. Wall bang in, it's just one left. They're cleaning house. It's left all onto nobody, and the fact is nobody is standing in Loud's way, closing out this series. A obliteration of EDG as Loud make their way to the playoffs. Both teams here looking to move past their opponent in this competition. This is going to be a tough game. Garden Court, they've been tested before, but this is going to be something they've never experienced in EMEA. Monnier going to be put to test, put to task. Oh, that's rough. Blinded and Monnier just popping up. Over towards Shybox, this guy's on for it. He's absolutely on the money today. Forsaken going to play enemy. forward. Paper X still starting oh. to thrive, coming alive. Devi and Forsaken in unison. They're not going. Oh, they do enemy. swing ahead. I mean, it's Paper X. Naray can see you just fine. It goes in for more. Carmine Gore just about staying alive. And Monier is getting audacious. But Paper X get to 13 and claim map one. It's yep. tough to mount a comeback versus a team like Paper X. Can, can he do this? Can he really pop off here? Oh, but Devi just... Oh, he's got my him. God, he's got him! This time he gets his three. Oh, he didn't get caught with the stun! The showstop was huge! Monier can't hit the shot on the cross, and now it's all on my friend! What a way to come back in! Come on, come In here. That's a freebie! And now there's problem. Oh! Martin, he's caught him. Carmine Court are in the server. We might actually have a game on our hands for Paranoia landed. But it's a, oh. was one of the players ahead of it. I'm waiting to see. Oh my God! Oh, come up in. I think the operator posting up here. He went down. It's Martin to find another pin. Him down. Ring a ring a Rosie. Magnum playing with. Oh, it's perfect. Back to business. There it is. Frank Sebastian. That's got to be so revealing. Oh my God. Oh, another one, something! Switching out to the shorty is Divine Forsaken, racking up bodies! They've held them back, they're on the verge! I can't believe it! Paper X, taken to OT, beating Carmine Core.